Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan and I'm with Skyline Acres. And today is a Sunday and we just got back from a week long vacation to the Grand Teton National Park and Yellowstone National Park um, at like 4.30 this morning. Um, and then I gotta go back to work tomorrow. Hey guys, I was coming hey. in the driveway last night and I was coming up through here at four, it's 4.30 a.m. And I look up and I see some branches there on the carport. I don't know if you can see them there. But I said, we get branches that fall on this all the time and I couldn't tell, it's 4.30 in the morning, the headlights don't directly shine right on it coming around this turn here. And I was like, boy, I don't know, that uh, looks like some branches fell there. And my wife said, I don't know, Ryan, I think it looks like something went through the carport. So we, uh, I pulled up and shined the headlights in here. Let me show you what we, what we got here. Yeah, so this is this inside one. the carport. And as you can see, a big old branch come down crashing through here. <laughs> now, I was looking at this last night at 4.30 in the morning and I haven't really looked at it that much today. This is kind of the first uh, view in daylight. But basically the branch, this is the thick end of the branch down here. So the thick end fell down and it fell down through the carport right here. Um, and I gotta tell you guys, I was a little bummed out. You know, it, it's just, it's always something, you know, it's, it's always something, especially when you have other people watching your place and all that. <coughs> um, and I was never really pissed because, um, number one, I mean, it's going to happen because we got this tree line here. Um, and number two, look how lucky we got. I so, haven't even touched any of this yet. This is really my first time out here. Look how close it got to the tractor. This is my granddad's old tractor here. We still use it. I mean, you're talking inches there. You can see where it went in the ground. I'll tell you what guys, I don't know what this looks like on camera, but this is this is heavy. I mean this is this is a this is a big branch. Um so it didn't hit the tractor. And I got to looking up here, and unless I'm not seeing something right off, it looks like it just went straight through the metal up here. None like, of the none of the frame is affected. So, I think we got really lucky, actually. So I think what I'm gonna do, so for today, I'm gonna chainsaw this thing out of here. All right guys, so I got the branch all cut out of there. It's pretty easy. Um, and it's like anything, you know, it always looks worse when the branch is all in there and all that. And you start cleaning it up a little bit and it doesn't look quite so bad. Yeah. Here is the damage. Right here. Okay. And it's looking like I'm only gonna need, so it's only two P, it's only two panels I'm gonna need. And it looks like three from underneath, but you got a panel there from there to here. And then I got a panel from here to here. Well, it stops, the damage stops here. So two panels will do it. And the reason under here is another panel under there, but that's just, just happens to be the panel that, where it didn't work out exactly. So they just went over like 16 inches with it. 
but two panels will do it. And I grabbed, we have a place that makes this corrugated metal um, there in town. And they gave me, I was for a different project, they gave me a scrap piece and I wanted to see if their profile matched this profile. Because I know, I know they're all relatively close, but I don't know how well different companies play with each other. And it turns out this is identical. So this is where this one will start, right there. And then it'll come up here. You can see it's identical there. I'm not gonna use this color, obviously. This is a piece of scrap. But this will end right there, right where that one ends. Okay. And then the second panel will come up under there. It'll go under there. And it'll come down and go right there to where that panel ends right there. And I should get all that damage. Um, we got back from our vacation uh, last Sunday. On Monday, I called uh, the local place in town that makes, um, they custom make roofing panels, siding panels and all that. And they're a lumber yard and everything too. And I picked out the color and I got the measurements and everything that I needed. And on Tuesday, they delivered the new panels. That is not the color. That is a protective piece uh, they put behind the actual color, or the actual pieces. Um, but anyways, it's really nice. They they band it up, and they there's wood in here and, and all of that. It's really nice. I thought about trying to go out there and get it myself and all, and I just, I mean, it's 21 feet long. Our trailer is 16 feet. I, you just the stuff is flimsy it's just it's just not worth it so i had them deliver it but anyways this carport guys it's old it's like 30 years old obviously it was here when we got here there's already there was a patch i don't know if you can see that patch up there but i showed it in the other video there was a patch done on that um, prior to us moving here 10 years ago i went back on google earth and you can go back in time and this thing was put here in like 1990 or something so it's old it's gonna get beat up we got all these trees here uh, some of them's dying and different things and next thing on my agenda is I want to rent a cherry picker and I want to trim up some of this stuff up here I mean that's a branch there I definitely want to get and so, stuff quick little funny story um, I went to go get an eight millimeter wrench or a socket for these bolts and I got my I reached for my quarter inch impact driver that I always used my woodworking and everything. And I went and got a, uh, I was going to get the adapter to go from the hex quarter inch um, to the square. And I said, shoot, I said, I've got a three eighths inch impact. And so I don't know guys, I don't know about y'all, but this came with one of my kits and I never think to use it. It's Woo. All right, guys. So I got both panels removed. All right. Here's one just kind of sitting there now. Okay. The other one was here. I got it removed. And then as you can see, I got the, uh, one of the new panels just laying up here and it sure looks like it's going to be perfect. I mean, from, from this edge to this edge looks to be exactly the same dimension. So if that's the case, when I lay the last piece on, that little tab that I got to screw into should equal out exactly right. But I tell you what, guys, it wasn't that hard. It's just... I guess I'd like to see how people build these because you, I, these uh, trusses are like four foot on center. So to walk, you kind of got to walk here and you kind of got to slide over to that one before you put a whole bunch of weight on it and keep doing that. All right, one other thing, just want to show y'all, this is the bag of screws 
that I think it's like a bag of 250. It's just what they sell. It's probably just standard in the industry. These are the old screws. And you know, this place has wood screws, self-drilling screws, all of that. But uh, these are three quarter of an inch originally on the carport. These are an inch and a quarter. It was the shortest ones they had. That will totally be fine. I don't know. I was thinking the head on the new ones was bigger, but actually they're not. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, I got the panels on. Let me show you. And I tell you what, guys, there's the other side. It was right on that peak. I mean, this, this piece here bends over a foot or so. Um, but anyways, got her done. I would walk down there and show you a little bit more, but I'm kind of tired of walking on it. So anyways, guys, that's another project in the books. Um, I'm glad to have got that done. That was, that's one of them that could have lingered for months or I could have just taken action and what time is it? Let me see. It's actually about 5.45. So doing this by myself, I did this in about four hours, which taking the old stuff off, the old mangled stuff over there, right there. And getting the new up on there by myself and all of that i think that was pretty daggone good so guys i know this carport is nothing super special it's a 30 year old standard carport you know but i will say i've really enjoyed having it here we've used it for the whole 10 years we've lived here it's really convenient to the house which is right there and we we keep stuff in it i i really enjoy just being able to run stuff in it real fast, the mower and different things, and just not have a garage door to worry with and all of that. Um, and you know, guys, you can't always afford to build a new building or buy a new carport or do whatever, you know? So in this case, this carport sets over here by the trees. It's really no point in replacing the carport. I mean, the the steel frame of it is totally fine and if i have to come up here and replace some metal every now and again you know so be it wasn't that hard and it wasn't that expensive with that said this is going to be the end of this video i'm glad to have got this done from the time the tree hit well we were on vacation so i don't know exactly what day the tree hit but from the time we noticed it till the time it was fixed was a week um, so i'm pretty pleased with that and the next step in this project is going to be i think what i'm going to do is rent a cherry picker kind of like i already said might even do it next weekend and come through here and get some of these tree limbs that i can't get with my pole saw um 
So that video may be coming up in, uh, well, I don't know when it'll come out, but I might do it next week. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, go back out there and check out some of our other content. Give this video a like and consider subscribing to our channel because it really helps us grow. With that said, guys, we will see you again next time.